It's true. Uh, I could wear these 10 fragrances every single day and probably not get tired of them. And that doesn't happen often. That doesn't happen with everything. There are some fragrances in my collection that I actually really like, but you know, wearing them every great once in a while is enough for me because they could be strong, they could be overbearing, you have to be in the right mood for them, a, a whole bunch of different things. A lot of that will be on the niche side of things as well. Kind of really had to be prepared for it. But these fragrances here, they are some of my personal favorites. All of these have this kind of addictive quality that just draws me into them. And I could literally wear these for days in a row. And in fact, I've done that with a, a lot of these here. I've worn them multiple times and I kind of have to tell myself, well, maybe I should wear something different today because I've been wearing the same thing over and over again. And having a large collection, you know, that really says something about these here. We'll provide links to all of these down below so you can pick them up at a price below retail. Let's start off with uh, Lin Sumi by Lalique. Basil, rum, clary, sage, lavender. It's a nice aromatic, classy, masculine, has a nice smokiness to it. Um, this green kind of herbal aspect as well. Uh, really big fan of this one. You know, it has hints of sweetness, but also a freshness, uh, kind of a clean lavender in the base of this one as well. So it kind of touches on a lot of different bases. You know, if you're trying to figure out what you want to wear for the day and, you know, you're going to be maybe a little bit dressed up, this would work. But also if you're going to be dressed down more casual, I think this would also work. It just does a lot of things very well. And for me, it's different. It's not your ordinary typical designer scent and so I'm drawn to that. I mean it's one that just works so well for me. I love that hint of rum that you pick up on right away. And I could wear this one for days in a row easily and it's like each time I do I almost discover something new about it. Next up, uh, no stranger to the channel here, we have Spice Bomb Extreme by Victor and Rolf. You guys already know it. Say it along with me. Ready? Tobacco, vanilla, black pepper, really all you need to know. Uh, this fragrance here is actually one that is so strong that you can still smell it even though it doesn't have a cap. So one of the main drawbacks, I guess, is to fragrances like this that don't have a cap is you can't pull the cap off and smell it without spraying it. But this here, I can still smell that plain as day. And it's been a few months now since this one has been sprayed. A lot of my other ones that don't have caps, the scent completely evaporates and goes away from the top of it within a few days, it seems like. It's one of my favorite winter fragrances of all time that has been released in terms of designers. Always has been and always will be. I was late to the party on this one, but as soon as I got it, it immediately shot to the top for me and it still consistently makes my winter lists and it makes my winter rotation very heavily. I mean, I could wear this one for days in a row, especially closer to the holiday season of, of winter time, you know, kind of before um, Christmas, Thanksgiving, and even New Year's, all that. After that, I kind of start going towards other things, but there's something about this one that really does have kind of a, a warm, cozy holiday feel feeling to it. I can wear this for days in a row and in fact I've done that many times. Let's go to another more classic aromatic scent here. We have Dolce & Gabbana uh, Intenso. Tobacco, hay, cypress, lavender. Um, there's watery notes in here as well. Uh, really different and unique. Another one that's going to be more masculine, more refined. Uh, you know, some of these here will maybe go in more of a playful direction. Uh, this is not that. It's quite the opposite. So if you are someone that typically goes for uh, kind of your, your standard mass pleasers, this is going to be quite a bit different. But if you're someone who maybe is a bit older, you want something more mature, uh, something that will have you taken seriously by people around you, maybe you want to smell like, uh, you know, just someone who has authority, someone who has a higher position at a job or something. This is kind of what I would imagine this to be on. You know, it kind of has this uh, accomplished smell to it. You know, I don't know what it is about it. It just exudes confidence. And for me, it's another one that is something different, something that kind of resets my palate. If I'm wearing a lot of the same stuff over and over again, testing new releases and maybe a lot of the new ones smell similar like a lot do these days. Uh, this is something I can go to and just have a reset and something that's way different. Up next, one of my favorites for summertime. Uh, this one here is Creed Aventus Cologne and I could wear this one throughout the entire summer. Like uh, this could be a fragrance where if I only had to choose you know, a couple, two or three to wear throughout the entire summer and that's it, Aventus Cologne would be one that was in the conversation for sure. 
easily uh, because I've done it. I've worn this one for days in a row, days at a time, uh, just because it's addicting to me. Uh, I am a huge fan of the Aventus DNA. Love it. I love Aventus. I love a lot of the Aventus inspired fragrances out there, a lot of the other clones. I love the smell. I wear it often. But when I want something that's even more appropriate for really, really high heat, super hot, humid July days, July, August, that sort of thing, I go for this one here. It's got orange, vetiver, musk, you know, your typical Creed Aventus DNA as well, bergamot, that sort of thing. Uh, the difference is it has actually a little bit of a Versace Pour Homme slash Chanel Allure Homme Sport kind of smell in here. A little bit creamy, citric, that sort of thing. Absolutely love how this one comes across. It's very addicting for me. And while I still do consider the regular Aventus a summertime scent, it's one that I wear mostly in the summer. On days where I want to change it up and go for something that's even more bright and fresh, Aventus Cologne for me is the way to go. Let's go over here to this one next. A little bit of a cheapie. We've got Halloween Man Shot. Cardamom Iris Vanilla. So this was kind of uh, one of the first ones to get hyped up, at least if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, this one was out and got hyped up before Halloween Man X. Now that one, Halloween Man X, is kind of the, the hype monster of the line out of all of the Halloween Man fragrances, really for the most part. The original was still a, a good seller as well. But I remember a lot of people really going crazy for shot back, you know, a few years back. I was late to that one. This is a more recent pickup for me. I'm kind of going to slowly start gearing up for a buying guide. Spoiler alert. So I'm kind of going through and picking up what I've missed. Great atomizer for a cheapie and great smell for a cheapie. You know, a lot of fragrances in this price range uh, are not that good. They're forgettable. They're not worth picking up. I have so many crap fragrances that are around this price range that we'll never see this channel because they are not good and not worthy of it. But this is one that really brings a lot to the table. You get a nice spiciness from the cardamom. The iris gives it a unique twist. The vanilla gives it more of a sweetness. Very impressive stuff that I could go several days in a row wearing. Let's go over to one of my personal favorites. One that I've definitely been guilty of wearing for days in a row, if not probably weeks in a row, before, especially back in the day, Aqua de Jo Profondo, Incense, Patchouli, C Notes. Yep, this is, this is still one of the best for me right here. It's one that I wear a lot in spring and summertime now. It's one that I wore even more in spring and summertime years back. This is uh, just one of those ones. And so, yeah, this is for sure one that I've been guilty of doing this before. Uh, I've worn it for days in a row, nights in a row. Just one of my favorites. Uh, I, I can't get tired of this stuff. Still have it. Uh, still wear it all the time. It's a good performer. Even though there's been talk about reformulation, I've got a whole bunch of bottles ranging from old to new. And all oh, it just works the same. It's all Aqua de Jo Profumo for me. And it works great. Let's go over this one. We have Loam Ideal Eau de Parfum. Now, this one just undergone uh, another packaging update, if you can believe that. Uh, or at least maybe this one has stayed consistent. But, you know, a lot of the other fragrances, uh, you know, Vetiver and um, all of those ones have changed several times, the bottles. So now Vetiver has a bottle that looks like this. Uh, but this one here, Loam Ideal Eau de Parfum, has a different look to it as well. The sticker is different. I believe some coloration changes a little bit. That sort of thing, but it is available now. We've got cherry, almond, and vanilla. One of my favorites. Uh, this is for someone who wants something different. If all you see is designer brands putting out the same stuff over and over again and you want no part of that, you need to go over to this. Now, a couple things. First of all, this is not new, so a lot of you probably have gotten this one already. Um, so, But if you haven't, you should. And also, it's technically kind of a niche brand, at least considered that way, but price is not niche. It's actually upper uh, designer level range. Some designers are actually still more expensive than this one, so it comes in at a good price. You get a lot of value. You get a lot of uh, just bang for your buck here with this one. Uh, I can't recommend this one enough. Fall and winter time, this is an absolute stunner, and it's a big head turner as well. Great spring one up next. Another kind of cheapy here. We've got Lacoste Loam Intense Orange Rhubarb Musk. Very nice, creamy orange. Uh, very spring oriented, you know. Could work in early summer as well, but to me, this just smells like everything outside 
coming back to life. The ground is thawing out, the grass is getting green, you hear the birds chirping, you just see nature and wildlife wake up after a, a long winter slumber. You know, this kind of has a, a happy, sparkling, peppy kind of smell to it. Uh, it just makes you feel good. It smells great, it's uplifting, it's a good people pleaser as well, and it's very affordable. It's one that I'm guilty of wearing days in a row, this and the original Lacoste Loam, just because it's so pleasant and so easy to wear. Second to last, we have Chanel Allure Ohm Sport Extreme. You guys know this one as well. It's got mint, tonka bean, uh, orange, so it kind of opens up with that orange mintiness, kind of a fresh blast, dries down to a creamier, dustier, powdery tonka bean. Uh, this is still one of those favorites for me. I wear it quite often, believe it or not. It's a super easy wear. I like to apply it to my clothing sometimes and not even my skin, um, just so I could wear something else alongside of it, but yet still get whiffs of this one here. It, it's just one that I love. Uh, in the beginning, very beginning when I first got it, I wasn't super crazy about it. I liked it, but I think I preferred the original sport over this one. And, uh, you know, it just kind of took me a while, but I really started to come around to kind of the dustiness and the powderiness of this one. It's still very luxurious smelling to me. You know, it smells high end, makes me feel great. And last up for this one, we have Mercedes Benz Club Black. We have vanilla, benzoin, and broxin. One of the best vanilla fragrances on the designer side that money can buy. Now, you know, there are gonna be ones that are more expensive, that are better quality, that people like better, and that are more well done for sure. But I'm talking price point, designer, this is one of the best. And I am a vanilla fragrance lover. I love them all, or at least, you know, the ones that I've tried. Uh, Armani Code Absolute, one of my favorite vanillas. But when it comes to just vanilla at a lower price point, this one still wins. It is the perfect vanilla fragrance on a budget. Uh, it's so photorealistic. It's so kind of gourmand. It, it's just an amazing scent. That's one that I bought backup bottles of because I don't want to take any chances of not having this one anymore potentially. Uh, it's one that I will always have around and one that I will wear days in a row throughout winter time. Alrighty, that's gonna do it for me. 10 fragrances that I could wear every single day and just not get tired of them. Links to these will be down below in the description. Uh, that's gonna do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.